when senseless acts of tragedy remind us that nothing here is promised. Not one day. So, how's it look, whiteboard? An AI program built into a whiteboard. How do I know it looks aesthetically pleasing? It's a rhetorical question at this point. I finally hung up some of those pictures, and check this out. <laughs> the door works now. Did it not work before? Well, not really. We were, uh, <laughs> kind of trapped when we were in this version of the office. I mean, we could leave the apartment, but not the review set. That makes zero logical sense. Hey, neither does the episode Applejack's Day Off. Did you play that specifically to spite me? Yes. Well, my name is Robin0928, and welcome back to My Little Robin Reviewing His Magic. And in this episode, we'll take a look at the good, the bad, and what I think overall, and one of the most middle-of-the-line episodes this season. I firstly want to talk about how much I liked Applejack in this episode. I usually wouldn't say that, but this episode she took the leading role and she was a fantastic character for it. She didn't have any obtrusive southernisms, she never acted stubborn for no reason, and her connection to the moral felt justified. One of the interesting aspects about this episode was the pacing and how it was divided. The first half of the episode focuses on AJ and Rarity at the spa, where AJ helps teach the spa ponies the lesson of looking at the problem from multiple perspectives, but then it switches to AJ having to learn that lesson for herself. Some may point at this being a hypocritical point, but people in real life can teach lessons while having to be taught the same thing themselves. Say, somebody teaches people to forgive themselves, but they can't forgive themselves for past mistakes. This episode also has fantastic background music, with the standout moment being the montage songs. I'm not a fan of country music, but I can appreciate how well put together the soundtrack is. Twilight and Spike, while they didn't get a lot of screen time, were pretty good throughout the episode, helping to provide humor and move the plot in the correct direction. Another plus to this episode is how the viewer can follow the thoughts of the characters and how their logic works in moments such as the spa scene. We, as a viewer, can feel like we're right alongside Applejack figuring out the problem, and not feel like the answer was hand-fisted to us. Now, let's take a look at some of the moments in this episode that fell flat in my eyes. Well, while I loved how AJ was portrayed in this episode, there was a character sacrifice of development for the episode, and that was Rarity. She didn't really learn a lesson and was constantly the cause of problems at the spa. She just reverted to a state of contempt for AJ's personality in the spa, just going along with her spa day while AJ worked to fix the problem. As selfish as Rarity can be portrayed, she's never been portrayed as overly mean to her friends. As for animation, I don't know, but this episode felt worse in comparison to other episodes, with the only real standout effect in the episode being a pruny Rarity near the beginning of the episode. It's fine for a slice of life episode did not have standout effects, but this episode's animation in general felt lifeless. It wasn't as energetic or full of character as other episodes have been this season. Maybe this is just me, but in general, this episode looks worse than those that have come before it. The comedy also suffered in this episode, not really having any standout moments where I laughed, and there's not like there's great emotion to even to offset the lack of comedy in this episode. I have mixed feelings on this episode, as it is one of the best times Applejack has been in the spotlight for an episode, but on the other hand has a lot of problems characterizing rarity. While the music was pretty great, the animation fell flat for me. A great moral, yes, but there was no comedy to back it up. All in all, this is a very middle of the line episode, with nothing propelling it up to my favorite episodes list, but nothing damning it to make me hate it. Either way you look at it, my name is Robin0928, and I will see you guys next time! Chase the melodies that seem to find us until they're finished songs and start to play. When senseless acts of tragedy remind us that nothing here is promised. Not one day. The show is proof that history remembers. We live through times when hate and fear seem stronger. We rise and fall and light from dying embers. Remembrances that hope and love last longer. And love is 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 love cannot be killed or swept aside. I sing Vanessa's symphony, Eliza tells her story. Now fill the world with music, love, and pride. Thank you so much for this.